Halloween is just around the corner, with its panoply of spooky entities on display. Ghosts, goblins, headless horsemen, children in minions costumes. But we don't need to enter the realm of fantasy and make-believe to encounter terror. The natural world has its share of unsettling organisms, none more apparent than the arthropods. Scorpions, spiders, wasps, centipedes, those are the obvious ones. What about the less obvious, the obscure, the stuff of taxonomic specialists' nightmare? Strap in, it's horrifying arthropods you didn't know existed. Starting out with number 10, horseshoe shrimp. These diminutive arthropods are Cephalocarida. It's a class or maybe a subclass of Crustacea. It's kind of unclear, they're very obscure. They're just 12 benthic species. They have large heads with no eyes, elongated bodies, and they're quite tiny, about two to four millimeters. Now, while they're small and obscure, they definitely look a bit unsettling, like some sort of parasitic alien from a, a video game. Moving along to number nine, we have the Dinochellus lobsters. So Dinochellus is a genus of deep sea lobster with a single species. The genus name, Dinochellus, means terrible claw. They're about one and 1.2 inches long with a very elongated claw, which is its namesake. And the claw has what appears to be teeth-like structures. This deep sea lobster looks like a nightmare you'd have after eating too much at a certain seafood restaurant. Okay, dokie, we have number eight, scorpion flies. This is an order of insects, Orda Mycoptera, flying insects that are composed actually of three groups, turns out, scorpion flies proper, southern scorpion flies, and snow scorpion flies. They're mostly scavengers. They have an elongated head you can see here, and a scorpion-like tail, though this is actually de deceptive. The, the tail is actually male genitalia, and it doesn't even sting. So despite it being unsettling, it's harmless. And we'll see that is a recurring theme for most of these species, that they're almost all much more terrifying than they actually are. They're scary but harmless. But in any case, scorpion flies remind me of something a kid's drawing would put together of all the worst insects in one place. Keeping with the fly theme, we have number seven, snake flies, Orda, Order. Raphidiodoptera. These are a group of predatory insects with two families. They arose in the Jurassic and are sort of a living fossil. That is, fossil species look very much like modern day species. A very elongated neck, hence the snake fly aspect. All I can say is, what is this snake fly? Some sort of Dungeons and Dragons monster? Get me my mace of constitution. Okay, we're moving right along here. We now are on to tongue worms. This is a subclass of crustaceans, subclass Pentastomida. Though it's it's kind of unclear, they're a very derived parasite, so it's really hard to tell exactly how they relate to other crustaceans. Anyways, they are ob obligatory parasites with a very simplified anatomy, as you can see here. They can be. These are one of the larger. Arthropods, we'll see here, they're 1 to 14 centimeters, so it can get quite large. And unlike most of the ones we'll see, these can be actually dangerous. They live in the upper respiratory tract of reptiles, birds, and yes, mammals, so they can parasite, parasitize humans. Again, we're veering into the realm of alien parasites. So if you see this floating in some sort of jar in an abandoned spaceship, don't investigate, just, just shoot. Okay, we have number five, hooded tick spiders. This is Rickinuli. It's an arachnid order. These small, very cryptid arachnids have no eyes, 
and their jaws are covered by a hinge hood-like plate. So they essentially look headless. They're like some unholy amalgamation of a spider and the headless horseman. Okay, getting along here to number four, sea spiders, also known as class Pycanogonida. Sea spiders are marine arthropods with usually eight legs, but not particularly closely related to true spiders at all. They range from very small, 0 0.03 inches to 20 inches. So that's the largest arthropod we'll see here. 20 inches is a size comparison with the, which the Monterey Bay Aquarium puts very unsettlingly as the size of a cat. Yes, these things can get to the size of a cat. They feed by using their proboscis to suck out the fluids of their prey. They're just the sort of thing you'd see crawling out of a portal from hell in the climax of a horror movie. When you look at the sea spider, the sea spider looks back into you. Number three here, tropical harvestmen. Now, harvestmen, also known as opalinates, are an order of long-legged arachnids. They're also known as daddy long legs. They are not actually spiders because they have a few cephalothorax and abdomen. Another difference between them and spiders is no species have venom, so they're almost completely harmless. And however, while most harvestmen are spindly little things that don't look too much different from spiders, there are some tropical species that are just monstrous, just bulbous and spiny, like full on head crab vibes going on here. So I don't know what the tropics are doing to opalinids, but it's certainly not good, albeit harmless. Getting down near the end here, we have number two, tailless whip scorpions, not to be confused with whip scorpions, which are another group, but tailless whip scorpions are an order of arachnids, order Ambulopagi. They are blunt rumped, hence the tailless. They have no venom or silk glands and can grow up to 6.3 inches in leg span, so very large arthropods. They're very terrifying looking, but they're harmless to humans. And they're actually surprisingly good parents, especially for arthropods. Like they take pretty good care of their offspring as opposed to most insects that sort of just lay eggs and leave. But their appearance does not do them any favors. What mad scientist combined a mechanical spider with a set of garden weasels? Who knows? The only thing that I can think of that's more terrifying slash harmless at the same time than the tailless whip scorpion would have to be the Taylor Swift Scorpion. I knew you were trouble when you scuttled in. Okay then, before getting to our final number one slot, I wanna go through some honorable mentions. Arthropods that are either not as terrifying as the ones I showed up, or ones that were terrifying but pretty well known, so they don't fit the both terrifying and unknown category. So first we have giant isopods. These are really large sort of cousins of the, the, the common pilgrim. They live in the deep sea, unsettlingly large, but not as unsettling as some of the other things we've seen. There's also the mantis shrimp, which is psychedelic and psychopathic, but it's fairly well known on the internet. So I thought you probably already knew about this. Also within honorable mentions is the coconut crab, an arthropod that is larger than any arthropod has the right to be. And then finally, camel spiders, which is also known as sun spiders or sophagidae. These are psychopathic, vicious, and actually quite dangerous, but fairly well known in the arthropod and internet community, so I did not include them. And lastly, number one, we have pelican spiders. These arthropods are a family of spiders known as Rachididae. They're also known as assassin spiders. They're quite small, two to eight millimeters, but they have necks 
very long necks. Very unusual for a spider to have a neck, but there they are. And they have extendable jaws used to catch prey. Everything about this spider is terribly wrong. I mean, for example, pelicans. Pelicans are probably the most unsettling bird out there. From what I heard, they're kind of a huge pain and jerk of a bird. They steal fish from other people and fishermen. So why not mash the worst bird up with everyone's favorite phobia, the spider? And what do you get? Ugh. The stuff of unending nightmares. Now I won't be able to sleep after this, and because you've joined me thus far, you're probably in the same boat. Thank you for joining me on this very spooky episode. Brace yourself for trick or treat. And as the pelican spider says, give me something jointed foot to eat.